Hello. Hi. We are back. Yeah. How's it going? Hopefully we're more awake this episode. <laughs> I think we'll be a little more awake this episode. It's uh, I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, it's fucking cold. Yeah, it's actually cold. I'm not, I I forgot that it's a... Uh, Ooh, it's foul. It's a little cold. But... Hello, this is me. Your father. We're back. Hello, we're back. We were uh, let's... First, let's cheers or roll. Let's roll. Into the and, uh... Yeah, into the pile of dicks. Ooh, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Five. Uh, this is the coffee one? Mm-hmm. What we're nicknaming it? Yeah. I do... It's good. I'm happy with it. Mm. Um, not gonna say too much about it. <laughs> not this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Anyways, how was your guys' this week? Are you guys? Yeah. Uh, hopefully you've had. Did um, you clap them ass cheeks like we said you would? Clap. I wish we had a soundboard for that. <laughs> like, I don't want the sounds to be good, but like, I want us to do random shit like that where it's like. Did you clap them ass cheeks over the weekend and then just fart? No. <laughs> <laughs> just some dumb shit. Uh, one day. One ring to rule them all. Anyways. That's the butthole. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day, dude. It's been I, a long I, day. I didn't do shit all day at work. Well, I, I take that back. I took two doors off a car. That's fair. That's like all I did. And to be fair, the car was like right here. So like I had to like reach up really high and then like catch the door. I, uh, yeah, I ran around and stuff. I, I sat on my ass. I always run around. That's my yeah. entire job is just running. Someone gave me a tour of the plant and I was like, I've, I've been here a lot. But I just went with it to waste time. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite thing would have been if he was like, "I'm not sure where he's at," and you're like, "It's over there." Yeah, he's and like, he's well, just like, what? And you're like, "I've been here a yeah, lot of times. I've been here many times." Do we want to try the other one? Mm -hmm. What was the yeah, code let's name go for, for the it. other one? Huh? Um, oh, I remember the code name for that one. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> blah 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 blah. Yeah, no, hundred percent. We didn't cheers this one. Oh, did we, we didn't. Sorry. Cheers. I didn't sip it yet. Avoid my mic. <laughs> yeah, I, I luckily can pull mine out of the way pretty easy. Hmm. Okay. I could have added more syrup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, so I, I like. Okay, I like it, but I forgot what was in it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was so like, it was a little, oh. <laughs> a little stronger than you expected. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see. You can definitely taste more of the stuff mm. in it mm. than with the less. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, we have that one. We have time to experiment with. Yeah, um, for the other one. Yeah, I am going to Wisconsin. Yeah, so if you don't find that other stuff tomorrow uh, or Thursday, yeah. Thursday, yeah, let me know. We'll do. Um, We'll Anyways, for I am. <laughs> I was watching a. Uh, uh, they did a uh, one of the cocktail channels. Yes. Uh, he did just a martini. Oh no, sorry, wrong one. But I was listening to the podcast for uh, same one that did the Bodega Cat. The mm. we are drunk, or we might be drunk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We are drunk as I'm, us most of the time. Yeah, that's pretty much us. No, we... I was listening to them, and they did... Uh, their bartender did a paper plane. I have not done that here yet, because I don't have all the ingredients, because... Well, uh, I, I have to not buy everything all at once, because I want to. But on his, he said he was like, he swapped out the Amaro that's in it for uh, Italicus, which is like this. These all sound I don't, like metal band names I know, to me. right? <laughs> Cocktails are just like metal band names that didn't work out. Uh, not the cocktails, the ingredients. Sorry, yeah, yeah ingredients. Yeah, the cocktails themselves are like song titles. Yeah. 
But um, I did. Uh, no, he was saying that's what he does, and it lo- it apparently just makes it like a lighter version of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm really interested because I want to try the hell out of that. I want to try one. I think I've had one at a bar. I just haven't made one because I don't have all the shit. And I'm like, well, maybe the next trip I do, I'll get yeah that stuff. And but, like I said, you always just know what you're getting for Christmas and shit now. Like, very easy to shop for. Yeah, at this point. Get you a bottle. (laughs) Yeah. No, literally, at this point, it's just like, cool, just get me some whiskey and I'll drink it at some point. For sure. I'm the same way, but, like, you don't have to get me a fancy bottle. No, Just give me something that comes with a cool glass. There you go. Yeah. That's Honestly, I love those at Christmas time, man. They work. And uh, at this point now, I'm like, yeah, I like like boozy booze. I go get fancy shit, mostly because I'm like... I already have all the other stuff. I have yeah. the basics for the most part. No, that's a lie. I like... I need bullet still. Bullet's easy to get. It is. Don't we I have just, a bullet ride down there? No. No. No, I had that when I lived here. Yes. <laughs> I... I need to remember to go get that at some point and actually do it because I don't remember what it's like to have a bullet old-fashioned. It's harsher. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I like it, but that's fair. It, it's a lot more spirit forward. That's yeah. fair. Unlike this one. Yeah. But that one will put some hair on your feet. Nicely though. Yeah, like a very subtle like hobbit. <laughs> yeah, a little, 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 little hobbity. Yeah. Kid hobbit, young hobbit, minimal hair. Peach fuzz. Peach fuzz. <laughs> Little patchy foot. <laughs> <laughs> Little patchy foot. Oh, God. Uh, that's terrible. Speaking of hobbits, um, I've you know about Finn and Knee Punch. Yes. I'm sure I've talked about him on the podcast. Yeah. But one of my favorite D&D characters uh, was a two foot seven halfling monk, way of the drunken master. Who looks yeah. like me, but with a fake beard. And all he did was he would punch people in the knees. Really fun to play as. I wound up making a new character for DeAndre's campaign. Yeah. He's a dex-based barbarian. Uh, way of the ancestral guardians. Yeah. So whenever he goes into a rage, his ancestors pop up. My joke was his ancestors are all the other versions of Finna that I've made, which so far I have... I haven't flushed them out because it's it's weird figuring them out. But I have a bard. Um, I have a rogue who I'm saying is a wizard. Okay. But he's not. That's fine. Um, I, have, I haven't decided if he's a paladin or a ranger. But he rides on a jaguar. And he has two lances. <clears throat> um, DeAndre has started making more. Oh. He's making more finnas. Some of them he's telling me about. We're like fleshing out the ideas, but the because he's I'm, gonna, I'm playing in his campaign. He's yeah. like giving me the idea a little bit and being like, "Do this." He's like, "Finn is your thing. Are you cool with this?" Yeah. Um, because we've decided that the joke I made of the spirits being yeah. other Finnas, <clears throat> it is now into the Finniverse. <laughs> So these finnas might pop up in the campaign, and we've come up with some fucking incredible shit. I hope you have to verse yourself somehow on accident, and then you're, like, really mad because you're like, fuck, I'm unbeatable if I'm not me. There's one who is a literal god. Yeah. His name is Finna Prime. (laughs) He is the first finna. His first name is Jeff. There's two that have um, warlocks. So my bard is multi-classed into a Hexblade warlock, just so he can be an emo boy. Uh-huh. The other one is a straight-up warlock. Their patron is the Finna who's a devil. So there's a Finna who's God, and a Finna who's Satan. <laughs> and, like, I'm fucking loving it, man. Like... DeAndre I mean, just ran with it. Everybody else that plays with us, we were like, dude, you got to come Wednesday. And they're like, yeah, I'd love to. And then DeAndre's like, it's finna get crazy. 
And I was like, yes. <laughs> like, I hope they got the hint that DeAndre and I are slightly working together. <laughs> dude, that is going to oh. be epic as fuck. Dude, I'm, we're homebrewing uh, an Infina gauntlet. Okay. Which is going to have Infina stones <laughs> that all have powers and shit. And, like, Unbelievable. DeAndre and I both forgot that the Finna's are me yeah so literally like we're throwing me into his campaign but i'm playing me in his campaign <laughs> so i'm like oh if i have to fight myself or one of me like leads us astray i'm like i kind of want to do all the voices for the finnas because they're me but like how do i talk to me like uh, i mean we do that yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, our first characters, well, one of our first characters were alternate versions of each other. Yeah. Can I mean, we Can we retcon them? They're our characters. Can we make them Finnas? I know they were dwarves, but I have, I have two names <sighs> that would go really well for them. Maybe... But here's my thing is I would the the one that is my version of it can own it can only be played by me. Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm trying to like that be that be hilarious. But like I don't we would have to like rebuild those characters. And I'm trying to remember Yeah, they were homebrewed like hell too. Yeah, they, were they like level 20. I don't, was it level 20? I don't know what level no, they I, were. I, I want to just say he like gave us pretty free reign to like do some stuff. And was like, we All were right. basically fucking superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. But I have names for them. Yeah. We've got one of them is going to be finna fuck around. <clears throat> and the other is going to be finna find oh, out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. Like, I was trying to figure out those characters. And then we just mentioned that. And I was like, dude. Yeah, that would have They're to be They're fucking a... Finna and Finna bros. They would have to, yeah. yeah. I mean, shit. Uh, yeah, and they're always drunk. Oh, yeah. That'd be the hardest part, is we'd actually be like, DeAndre, we're, we're getting fucked tonight, yeah, yeah. because these characters drink. These, those two, and then Finn and Knee Punch has been all right, because usually I played him in Ohio, so yeah. it was like, I couldn't get too drunk. Yeah, you gotta drive. Yeah, but he is a drunken master, so the way I would want to play him is the same way we played those dwarves. Boy. Yeah. Uh, I am... Fuck, I really need to play goddamn D&D. I just don't ever have a tie on yeah. time. Well, my only free day really has been Wednesday. Yeah. And I hadn't played with DeAndre in so long. Thank Last you. week I was like, fuck it, I'm going to play. Yeah. And then it, it became a two parter. So he's like, All of you gotta play next time and I was like, Fuck, I'm, yeah, I'm down. I, but, I have Friday off so I could do laundry Friday. But I am excited to be playing a Fena character again. And yeah. He, he's getting really into it too, so it's like It helps. This is gonna be a blast because even when I'm not playing, she's like, Yeah, dude, the Fennas are gonna be part of my campaign so like i might just give you a call one day when you can't play and be like hey <laughs> i'm using one of your guys i'm using finna can you like just just role play some shit for me i got the stats in front of me you just react how you think finna would react and i'm like fuck yeah <laughs> he's just like literally calling you and you're like uh, he'd do this. And yeah. He's like, all right, thanks. And then they're like, he does this, and everyone's just like, ah, oh, what the fuck? I, want, <laughs> I wish I could do an Optimus Prime voice, because I want Finna Prime to sound just like fucking Optimus. I mean, when do you think you're gonna have to use him? I assume I here's don't know. that's my thing. Is like, look, if you have, if you have a god version of a character, you can't start right with him, like. I think you would have to slowly work your way up to like discovering. That's kind of how I'm I'm picturing it. Like uh, I joked about how like eventually as I level up as the barbarian. Ah. What is it? I was looking at myself. Sorry. Oh, and then I was like, I well, I was looking lot. at my hand crossing <laughs> into your frame. Um, but eventually, the barbarian when he levels up, I can consult my ancestors. So I can talk to them. But what we're doing for flavor is like, say I roll a nat 20 on an attack. 
I want like one of the spirits to whisper to me, specifically Finn and Knee Punch. Yeah. I just want it to where like everyone hears the spirit whisper. Yeah. And just say something like, aim for the knees. Like that way the party members that have played with Finn and Knee Punch, they'll get that little like, yo, yo, what? <laughs> like the fucking Finna, like talked to Finna, like, holy shit. Like we thought this was just a gag, but DeAndre's in on this. You know? Yeah, DeAndre's just like, and you hear a whisper of, yeah, that's yeah. funny, dude. That's, that'd be hilarious. Like, I mean, God damn it. Yeah. We, uh, I really want to build like a fucking table. I want for to our too, campaign. I really want it. the one that has like the screen in it that you can cover. Like, yeah. That way, when we play, we have a battle map. Like, mm -hmm. there's so much websites we can use to where yeah. we can like we can full on flesh out a world. Well, the thing is, is we do have. <sighs> we could use like one of the extra TVs that I, I didn't hang up. Still yet. have the one that your mom gave me. That's not. Big enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, but it could be something. It could be something. It's helpful. Yeah. But for the sake of it, like, I do have... Or worst case, we literally just go get, like, the cheapest big TV they have at Costco because we're not using it for anything but just displaying a war map. Yeah. Like, literally buy, like, the $200 one that's, like, super off-brand that basically just needs the exact outlet that we can plug our computer screen in. That like, cool. Yeah. The way I'm picturing it, too, is, like, we'd have, like, we could throw the battle map up there or the world map or whatever. And then we could also, like, if we have character art of something, we can throw that up. Like, yeah, you run into this guy. He looks like this, you know? Like, yeah. Um, but, but I would really want one for sure, man. Agreed. And this way too, like is at the very least we can use, like you said, there's battle maps that we can use. So we know like, all right, there's no venturing away from here. There's nothing out there that, you know, yeah. whatever we can veer it nicely. And then if anything, find someone that makes their own. Well, I mean, they, they got them. Uh, when I say they have websites, like you can go on the website and make one like that. Like it, it, I would it definitely generates that. a lot of it for you. You kind of give like a basic outline of stuff and you're like mountains, river, town, town. And then it's like, Pfft. that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm down. I'm so down. That'd be really cool. Dude. And I was thinking for our tester. Yeah. I joked around about this last week at D and D, but I want to do a full on one shot. That's just into the Finiverse. Once I have enough Finna's made up to where it's like every Everyone's player playing is playing Finna. Like you come to the table and you're like, oh, I really like playing like bards. I'd be like, okay, here's Finna Simp. You know, you come to me. Oh, I really like playing uh, fucking Warlocks. Okay, here's Finna. I don't have a pun for his name yet. You know, like. Yeah. And literally just. Boom. Finna Lock. No. Finna Lock. Oh, yeah, that's close. Finalock, I think, would be the funny name for your like, uh, like a robe. Oh, that's Finatrickum, which is also a a fun little ploy. Yeah. Because when I play him, I'm making everyone think he's a wizard. That's f fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna give details, but if you know some of the rogue subclasses you can get, he's not a wizard. He also has an invisible mage hand. <laughs> and he has the shrink person spell. So I'm going to definitely shrink him down to where he's under five pounds. And just have the mage hand pick him up and like move him places. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a blast. That's going to be sick, dude. No, we... Yeah, we got to plan that out, honestly. I think I think if we, if we try to plan like doing... The D and D sessions like next year. Yeah, I'm sure we could get something going. We could yeah. figure it out, make a really basic version of the table for ourselves. At the very least, like, well, here's the thing: is like, how do we build a table that we don't have to just like leave around again? That's where I was also kind of thinking, like, we would do it at my place. But. 
Because I would just use it as a dining table. But you already have a giant that's, dining table. You have a bunch of stuff in your basement. Like, well, and then we just bring it over here for filming, or film it at your house, or film it at my place. What would be easier to do? Like, find a way to set it up here. With it would be easier to have all the equipment shit for fucking sure. Yeah. But I'm thinking like storing the table. Like, I already have a dining table, too, that we can just fucking cut into. Build a base for the TV underneath. Remove the top. See, when, I, when I'm imagining it, I'm imagining it, like, kind of like the table that I have down there. That's what that I would style. Want. Yeah. I would want that for sure. But if we're talking a basic one, yeah, we can just do that. I mean, we do have, we are we are friends with, like people that build stuff like we could hit up like mike or kevin yeah we, you know? nick nick as well too nick yeah it's like hey we want to build this kind of a table you know yeah we're capable enough to come help you if you need help you know? oh no we i mean essentially it's more of like you come here and like help us build it we'll get all the supplies and do that and stuff and then build the table and then we could build it like we did the other way and just figure out a way to like, all right, we can take the legs off or something. Fold them in, even. Fold, oh, or as weird as it is, as long as the legs are sturdy enough, if we installed like a bolt on it that they, you could twist the legs into the table and then set it up. So it's just the top and then the four like legs that'll connect. We're thinking too hard. You have a dining room table. We want it in kind of that style. Yeah. Box. We just build a fucking top that sits over your dining room table. That's fair, but then we have to bring the table in the basement. Or... Or play in the dining room. <laughs> I had to get rid of that fucking chandelier. That little... We have to, we want to anyways, but that little... Whatever they... The, the, the old one they have over mm-hmm. it. It's not really our style. It's just kind of there. It's not bad, but, you know, it's there. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just always pictured it in the basement. I did, too. But, like, you have a bunch of shit down there already. But it has this space to, like, actually, like... All we'd have That's to true. do is just adjust the couches that aren't actually really connected to each other. That's true. And you do have the bar down there as well, too. In the basement to smoke out of, like it just yeah. be convenient. Like everything's down there, we can keep it locked. I can close the door upstairs. So like, if we smoke in the in the basement for the sake, be like for the sake of like actually filming and not everyone getting up and getting out of the table, we just you know everyone sits and just you know drinks and smokes at the table. Well, when it comes to like smoking, like we're gonna take breaks here and there. True. You know, That's so true. Like, yeah, get up, stretch your legs, go for a smoke if you want to smoke. Like most of my friends don't really smoke though. I guess I meant more weed. Yeah. But yeah, you're not wrong too. Yeah. We can just take our breaks. But either way, it's right there. We go in and out. There's not much having to there's a bathroom. Yeah. Like we don't have to worry about and if anything too Everyone literally just comes in right through the basement because it's a walk-in. So we don't even have to have anyone come through the house. I can just be like, hey, just come around. Make it kind of cool for him anyways. That's true. Just for the sake of it, setting the mood. And Not the, the light, tester the, necessarily. The lighting but down there is cool too. Yeah, it's got the dip. We can, we can adjust. the. I mean, I can adjust the lighting in that one too. But there's just, to me, it's also the worry about like needing needing space to put the cameras. Yeah. That's true. Because, like, in that room, we would have to, like, it'd be tight. Yeah. Really tight. And for the sake of, yeah, the, in that basement, it'd be great. Plus, realist, well, no, I would need, I would definitely need to bring the computer down. Yeah, for this one. For the mics. Yeah. yeah. For all four mics. Yeah. But it'd or be, a couple mics. It'd... Ooh, that's the thing, too, I didn't think about, is if we're doing six people... I mean, I guess I could, like, we would need lav mics, maybe, if we knew someone that happened to have lav mics that we could borrow for the day. Or... By the time we film it, we can probably get more. 
True. Yeah, we could just yeah give them a lot of mics. Of course, the DM gets the good microphone right in front of them. Yeah. Or does everyone just get a mic in front of them? Because like it could like may I don't know. Honestly, I think our best bet is going to be getting getting or borrowing lav mics from someone. And then uh, I will set up room mics. Yeah. And I'll just mix it individually. I feel like the lav mics would lead to like some more chaos too. Like in a good way. Like yeah. if somebody's doing like an intimidation check or something and it's like, wow, you've rolled really well. They could pull the lav mic out, get real close to the mic and be like, I fucking said this, you know? Yeah. No, that'll work. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely think about it. Cause I think either lav mic or actual mic, but I don't know if it's more cost effective to just get regular mics. Cause I have all the cables. That's true. It might be cheaper to actually just get more of these mics than it would be to buy more lav mics yeah. than I need. But they, again, like, you know, the thing with the lav mics too, is they're harder to mix. They're harder to mix also batteries and stuff. But I was going to say the thing with the lav uh, mic is, you know, I'm going to go piss and you know that I already know. Yep. Yep. That it can pick it up. Yep. Well, I think we should probably get regular mics. <laughs> no, I mean. You just see me, I'm going to the bathroom, and I'm like, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> just pulling the whole mic with me. Just, <laughs> better quality. <laughs> this is the quality content people aren't paying for. <laughs> <laughs> what would be hilarious is if, like, while I'm going to the bathroom, somebody's doing something super serious. And I'm like, all right, I got to go piss real fast. Like, get it done. Do your thing. And I, I go to the bathroom, but you, real low quality. I'm just like, <laughs> while they're like, my father left me at a young age, and I will never do that to you. Like, some huge monologue, and I just. Yep. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I, I, uh, dude, honestly, I think God, we really have to do this. I want to. Like, we really need to do it now. next year. Yeah. We have, we already have other things in set in motion. I think we can start setting, again, get, get back to writing. I need to get back to that. Taking on the different role at work has made it so I don't actually have mental time to really think about things anymore. Yeah, I get that. I'm, I'm team leading it. Yeah fucking whole department almost it's dumb not department but it's spread across the whole of engine which is dumb but you know so I, I really I just run around and I'm doing shit all day so I, I don't have that free time I used to so it kind of really it stumped me on creativeness on coming up with sketch stuff but like I think it'll help too like doing all the in house stuff and then we'll get to other shit like yeah. we want to it's just we both work fucking six days a week yeah like it just for the most part it's it's just impossible to like get shit together it's hard without like destroying our sorry like personal relationships <laughs> oops like if I <laughs> <laughs> that's more on me than you <laughs> well at this point, <laughs> I can just be like, hey, babe, it's going to be a rough two weeks. Like, we're trying to just... that That's the thing, is at a certain point, I think we're just going to have to commit yeah. to a really rough two weeks and just film as much fucking shit as possible and just wreck ourselves and be like, all right, we got it done. We'll, like, take a week. And then we'll get to editing. I think for that. Uh, I mean, it's definitely got to be Goose News. Yeah. And a bunch of other stuff. But I think yeah. for that, wouldn't it be dope if we hired somebody to be like a documentarian? 
Maybe. Where we're like, yeah, Brandon and I, we're taking a full fucking two weeks. We're knocking all this shit out. Yeah. You record it all. And like, <laughs> we edit it to where it looks like super stressful, even if it's not. <laughs> like, if we're having. We a- just completely <laughs> cut out all of the times I'm just ripping my bong. Because, like. If we're that, having a blast, like, and we're just laughing the whole time. I mean, it's, I want to edit it to where it's just like, yeah, so Brandon and I, like, if we have a fucking diary room, we're like, yeah, so Brandon and I, we're going to spend, like, two weeks knocking all this shit out. It's just It the should be a blast. Yeah. <laughs> we're literally on the yeah. toilet, pants down, <laughs> blur right there. Not even, like, there's just the, like, cut off. It's just cut off right where I'm at on my camera and where you're cut. So you don't see anything, but you can see the back of the toilet. And then you just hear right throughout, you just hear a couple. And just like, yeah. Or it's just like in front of my laundry in the off hallway there. It. It's always in a random spot. Like if there's a mirror in the background and like. I'm talking shit about you in it. It's just like, yeah, I just, I don't fucking get the joke Brandon's trying to make. It doesn't fucking make sense to me. I'm, Why is he pushing this? And then you walk past the mirror and you're like, yeah, poopy. <laughs> just something dumb. See, like you said that and I just imagined you like doing the like talk, but like at a restaurant randomly. Just oh, like, yeah. like you're no longer in the location. You're just like at a bar and someone's just like yelling orders. Oh, can I be at a Bapplebee's? <laughs> like while it's busy <laughs> what Applebee's do you know is busy I'm kidding I know a lot actually I know yeah it's no you you go to an Applebee's after a football game at a high school that is oh when it's God. fucking yeah. popping at like 8 o'clock 8.30 when everyone is waiting for the half off appetizer at 9 o'clock that that is when we go film if you want that. more entertainment than an Applebee's after a high school football game. Denny's. Mm. You get the band kids. No, see, that's the thing. Is like, well, okay, so I say that because the band kids for us went to Applebee's because there was no Denny's close. Oh, so our Applebee's yeah. was the Denny's. So to me, Denny's is where you go at 2 a.m. when there's no one except for the people that are either blitzed out of their mind or homeless that just happen to wander in and get a coffee for a dollar. That's true. That's and then true. go to sleep. I've seen it. It's kind of funny. I've seen it too. It's not fun. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. Stop calling me telemarketer. Mm-hmm. Right. But I think that would be a blast. Like, if we should, yeah. like especially changing the location randomly. <laughs> well, like, we'll get there. It's just, yeah, yeah we just... We gotta film some other shit first. That's just, it, our lives are too complicated to try and get all this other side stuff. It's just been yeah. Right now we're planning. Holy shit! Who the fuck? Is someone that might it? not have been a is telemarketer because I just got like four fucking messages. In is it someone important? I'm gonna look now. Do you need to? Do we need to pause? No. Oh okay. No. Anyways, but no, I was like. It was a fucking weather app, dude. What? Was, uh, telemarketer called me, and then the weather app was like, it's going to rain around 7. In oh. Orion Township, it's going to rain well, around yeah. 7. Hurricane Ian's coming through. It's going to rain every fucking where. Which is interesting, because Melissa's parents are like... In Florida. They're in Florida. <laughs> but like based on where I'm watching so far, where they map it to go, it's going to hit like probably 30 minutes... Between 30 minutes to an hour north of where they live. So they're like just on the cusp of like, they're just going to get some heavy rain and have to stay inside. Dude, the thunderstorms around that are massive though still. So yes, yeah, so they're going to get thunderstorms. Yeah. They're going to get was, some bad thunderstorms. I was in Texas for Hurricane Harvey and it was projected to come at us and then it moved. Yeah. And like, even then, like it was fucking storming. Well, yeah, if you're even around it at all, it's going to be fucking crazy. Yeah. But they're staying there because they're like, well, it's not projected to hit them. They're like, they're definitely towards the southern end. But they're, you know, if you're looking at a weather map. In this, in this little penis, dick here. Penis. This little, this little. Wait, dude, we have props. We have pe No, well, I was going <laughs> to. 
this little thumb. If this is the base of Florida and this is the panhandle, they're like here and Ian's going to hit here. Yeah, Ian is going to so hit it's, right where the head connects to the shaft. Yes. They're like closer to the tip of the urethra. I I would okay, if I would say they don't watch this, do they? I really really <laughs> really fucking doubt it. Cuz I would I would feel sort of bad like we're talking about Melissa's parents and where they live and we're like, yeah, so right here at the urethra. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is if we're looking at Florida like a dick, yeah. right? If the panhandle is the balls and we're looking at the it, it hanging south, mm. like I imagine like the they are it's going to hit just slightly north of the it, it's going to hit the middle of the shaft and they are right on the rounded edge where it starts the where the head starts of a circumcised penis yeah yes if of it's a circumcised, circumcised penis, penis, of it's, a circumcised it's, yes it's right when you pull the foreskin back right yes. where right where it stops rolling yes right yeah right where you where you reveal it's right they're right on that cusp yeah like that's where they're at so like which is ironically one of the dirtiest parts of Florida. I mean, it's just not old not people. where they live, but like it is actually like very polluted and gross there. Cause, well, it's yeah. Florida. Yeah, you got to clean the smegma of Florida. <laughs> clean the smegma of Florida, and how? Get rid of bath salts, <laughs> or increase the bath salts. A lot of bath salts. All of the bath salts. You never know. Is it mandatory that everyone smoke bath salts? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Hold for, on. For Fuck the, it. It's the end of the episode. Week. Let's go with this. All right. <laughs> so, like, if you, like, demanded that, like, someone smoke bath... If you were, like, we're going to take a group of 100 people and we're going to force every fucking one of them to smoke some bath salts... How many people die, and, and not by smoking the bath salts? I mean by like getting eaten or killed by another person on the bath salts that they're surrounded by. If like seven, and this seven is, and a half, seven and a half. Yeah. Okay, but like I'm imagining that they're like putting the Gibraltar. Oh, right. Like if you just put like a hundred people on bath salts in the empty Gibraltar. Like and just let them run her around for any okay for the for the random people that audio listeners that they're apparently from California or other not Michigan yeah. the Gibraltar Center is essentially this massive warehouse that people just do trades in are used to used do trades to. in it's yeah. sold you could buy a machete for like two dollars yeah it was like it was, wild. it was essentially just like people selling like weapons and knives and. And guns and uh, all cu- cutting boards and all kinds of knickknacks and trinkets and shit. It was just this massive. Essentially, if you took like an Amazon warehouse and, and it just added weapons, yeah. If, <laughs> if you took an Amazon warehouse and it just wasn't as tall, it was just like two. It was like it was. A, it's a Costco. Yeah, that's a good. But like, it's yeah. like three Costcos put together. Yeah. In width, and it's just this massive Costco with if weapons. You, yes, with weapons. So if you took like a hundred people on Chris on, well, yeah, bath salts, bath yeah. salts, and you just threw them in a Gibraltar, like, I'm gonna say, I'm still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say seven to eight, dead. Okay, that's fair. Thirteen severely maimed possible to save them if they get some help um cause like I guess in my mind too I mm. almost wonder if it like 29 injured like bad injury not a stub toe so it's just like about a 50-50 like people are hurt yeah. and then the other half are just like the people that did they hurt them or like like they're severely hurt like I almost wonder like at that point, do they just, like, split up in teams of, like, people that, like... Because, like, as someone as someone that has never experienced bath salts, <laughs> I don't, like... I'm not sure if, like, there's... Like, when with people that smoke weed, there's people 
that like to smoke weed and go out and do shit and explore the world and kind of just adventure and explore things in a in a fucked mind state. And then there's people that like to smoke weed and stay at home and chill and do nothing. I like to do both. Just depends on the day. But there are definitely people that are super prominent. I don't know if that kind of differential exists in people that smoke bath salts. Like, no, I don't. As somebody who does bath salts regularly. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, I don't. (laughs) I have to clarify that. It, It would depend on the sample, though, too. Like, is it is it people who do bath salts regularly, which I'm assuming are very fucked up? Or is it people like you, you and me? Who we've done some drugs. I imagine at this point, if you're getting a hundred people together to like, okay, either without literally being like, we tricked a hundred people by telling them they all won some fucking prize and they have to show up at a Gibraltar trade center. Dude, that would be an incredible horror movie. See, I'm imagining like this is basically just a squid games. It just yeah, if that's we put, how I'm picturing it. If yeah. we just put all the people in squid games on on bath salts instead and they were just like left to linger, I guess. I don't I don't just fucking sit around and maintain for a di- I don't know. <laughs> what a, Oh, God damn it. Now we've gotten too deep into the parameters of like what this experiment would be. I like in my mind, I'm like, all right, well now like how long are we forcing these hundred people to stay in a Gibraltar? Is there a control group of 100 a- people that are not on bath salts? <laughs> I don't think so. Dude, you know what would be wild? If the control group <laughs> is the one with the most casualties, <laughs> like the bath salt guys are, they're chill. <laughs> they like, well, they remake Gibraltar. <laughs> like no what it ends up being is just a bunch of people making bets on like what the people on bath salts are doing and then you start fighting each other about the results uh, because the people on bath dude. salts just end up doing nothing but fucking masturbate for like <laughs> that's possible there's just too. like one guy that decides to eat someone else while the others are just all fucking going to town on themselves in other corners of the fucking Gibraltar we find out that bath salts are actually like the safest drug <laughs> like, <laughs> there was just one guy yeah. who decided to be an asshole in Florida and eat someone on them. God. He was like, well, okay, but that said, you might not be wrong. I Here's might the not thing. Be. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm going to go out on I often am wrong, but. I'm going to go out on a limb and say smoking bath salts probably doesn't result in good things, but. The problem is, is no one really thought about smoking bath salts until that homeless guy smoked bath salts and ate someone. Yeah. Now, could that guy be like that arm, army hammer where he's just got the cannibalistic thing and on bath salts, he decided to outlive his cannibalistic uh, dreams. But other people who are not cannibalistic dreaming people uh, would just go about whatever other dreams. Like maybe maybe smoking bath salts is like the just like the focus. It's the Ritalin to like your dreams. Like whatever, whatever you were daydreaming like you like. I'm, I want that on a shirt. <laughs> so bad. I'm full on setting up a fucking print on demand shop and I'm putting that on a shirt with our logo. So what if smoking bath salts is the riddle into your dreams? Brandon Murdoch. <laughs> but seriously, like, no one knew about it. What if his whole thing was he just really wanted to be a cannibal and he I mean, said, it's, fuck it's, it? Well, it's... also, he's homeless. He was probably really hungry. I don't remember if he was homeless. He, he was. ate a homeless man, didn't he? I thought they were both homeless and he just happened to eat another homeless guy that he probably like lived next to on the highway. I gotta, I gotta look it up again because I thought he was like just an office worker. Oh no, it was a homeless guy. I know <laughs> for sure it was a homeless guy that ate some... 
It was see. I actually thought what it was is it was a homeless guy that ate an office worker whose car broke down on the highway. I had it flipped. I think because I thought it was an office worker who ate a homeless man. I don't. As much as I hate to say it, in the world we live in, I don't think that would have got as much attention if it just an office worker decided to eat a homeless guy. I think it would have got more attention. I don't think so because I don't think anyone gives a shit about the homeless people. Like they do. Yeah, but here's what I'm getting at. Everybody thought it was a zombie, dude. Like if you told me an office worker just ate a homeless man's face, I'd be like full on zombie. But but the thing, if anyone ate someone's face, you would say zombie though. If you told me a homeless man ate somebody's face, I'd go, wow. What drugs was he on? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, look at look at two examples. Look at me when I got roofied. Yeah. And look at what little I've told you about what I remember from being on Ambien last week. Like, true. I'm not an office worker, but I'm a regular dude. Like, if you heard about me eating somebody's face, not me specifically, but somebody like me, mm-hmm. you would you'd be like fucking zombie. Yeah, no, 100%. Well, like, but his desires could have been different. I mean, I'd eat a dude. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> here's here's a proposition I got. How about we both just, like... Do bath salts? Yes. Let's, let's really conjure up the thing that we really think, like, we really want to do that's not just sitting here doing this podcast, and we're going to smoke some bath salts. And then we're going to be like, all right... Let's see if we either just end up both hyper focusing on those goals that we set for ourselves. Like let's like <laughs> we first first we do a vision board. We're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do a vision board of all of the things that we really wish we had the time and energy to do. And then we're gonna do fucking bath salts. And then we're gonna see if we either end up doing one or all of those things. Or if we end up in a jail. <laughs> I. Uh, one, can we actually do it like a really nice vision board? Like I'm talking yes. like, like scrapbook shit. Like let's let's do a vision board. We can uh, make that an episode just doing vision boards. Yeah. Well, not, maybe, maybe not a podcast episode. Let's do it like blog style. That could work. Yeah. Two best bros make a vision board about life. We make a vision board for each other. Hmm. It's therapy. (laughs) (laughs) We do a vision board of like, all right, here's where I think you could go. (laughs) And here is where I think you're going to go. I'd get sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second, uh, when you said like we both really just focus on what we want to do, I heard Doja Cat in my head, and I'm a little fucked up in the head. I think because when you said we both really focus on what we want to do, I heard Doja Cat just go, "I feel like fucking somebody," and I was like. I should not do bath salts with that in my head. That is definitely that not. Would be bad. That is definitely not the. Okay. Okay. Uh, so before we do bath salts, we are both definitely either getting fucked or masturbating. Like it is. We are taking. We are taking the horny out of the the bath salt experiment. That's the problem, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always horny. <laughs> Look, I get you, and I understand you. But I'm talking. Like, do you remember when you were in like high school Dude, going okay. through puberty? It's worse now. It, I'm talking. It's not actually. It's not. Yeah. I'm talking like we literally like in separate rooms. We fucking <laughs> we pop this shit off. And as it's popping off is when we roast these fucking bath salts. <laughs> it is just the ultimate height of like experiment we're like we start off on a high and maybe we use that high as an energy to focus on our goals and 
we get one or ten of the goals we put on our vision board down, <laughs> or we eat somebody. Dude, I'm picturing, I, I'm single right now, so it, it would be even more awkward for me, but I'm picturing, like... You could definitely get a booty call. Oh, uh, yeah, easily. Um, I mean, I... We'll talk about that after the podcast. Uh, what? <laughs> Switch back to me and say that again? I didn't... Yeah, I'm not going to say it again. Uh, text me it. Because um, that might lead into what we talk about after the podcast. But anyways, I'm picturing, like... <laughs> there's there's two points to this. I'm going to talk about you first. I'm picturing you going to Melissa, bringing her flowers, making her a beautiful dinner, and being like, hey... So, Edie and I have been talking. Uh, we want to do something for the channel and for science and maybe humanity as a whole. Yes. Um, I need to fuck the shit out of you. Like, do everything I want to do possible uh, to get this really incredible high. Uh, Edie's going to be doing something similar in another room. And then we're going to do bath salts. <laughs> Here's my vision board. <laughs> this is... <laughs> As you can see, I made sure one or two of the, the, the goals on this vision board have us both involved. Yeah. And the then, other ones, are, the other ones, ignore the one that says being able to fly. Because that's that's the last one. In, yeah, yeah. Well, e Edie's going to figure that one out if I accomplish <laughs> uh, if If I accomplish all the other first nine, you'll be set. And if I learn to fly... Everything will be okay. Everything. And then it, Everything. It, it, then it cuts to me. And I'm just on Hinge and Tinder and every other dating app. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, so, like, I got a scientific experiment. Uh, all I need is to fuck you. And then I'm going to do bath salts. Here's my vision board. As you can <laughs> see, number one is fly. Pretty confident I can do that one. Sober. Number two, get a girlfriend. Uh, number three. If you if you support <laughs> if you happen to support me past of this, number two might be an option. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if you're okay with number, accepting these terms of conditions, uh, number two might really be uh, a spot for you. Yeah. Number three might also be a spot for you if I do number one and number two. <laughs> uh, recreate a whole new world from Aladdin, but without the carpet. Um. Maybe bring the tiger. Who knows? Number five, make my dad proud. Uh, I'm going to move that to ten. <laughs> Both of them say yes, and then it just cuts to me and you, like, in your hallway. You're like, oh, shit. I guess well, we're doing bath salts. I'll see you in, like, I don't know, two minutes to an hour. I don't know how long we last anymore. High five. <laughs> See you in three. <laughs> we're both out. We're both out like a minute. Like ready to do bath some salts. bath salts. <laughs> it depends uh, on the day. And I'm oh, so god. glad we're not big enough to get monetized on YouTube yet. Oh god, watch, dude, watch what happens if we ever end up taking off. All of a sudden, we're gonna get like episode 200 and something we're gonna get a hit for episode 102 for telling people that we want to do bath salts and that maybe no we have to clarify we want to do bath salts for humanity for science yeah as an experiment we're not saying that you should also do bath salts and figure out if it's gonna help you towards your goals but, but if we figure that out or if you happen to also decide to take bath salts and aim them at your goals and it works out or doesn't let us know in the comments below yeah thank you so uh, much uh, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> hold the fuck up i've been re-watching unis honest so the disclaimer song is in my head i want to clarify we are not telling you to do bath salts for science or any other reason but if you ever seem to feel intrigued in the idea thought Maybe there's a bit uh, there's a nugget of truth to what they're saying, and I believe it. Don't. Yeah. That said, <laughs> uh, if you can get like actual lab tested acid, um, that is a game changer. 
it will change your life and set you on the right path for your goals until you get nine cats. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for listening. We love you guys. Like, Have comment, subscribe, week. and yeah. don't do bath salts. Yep, like, comment, subscribe. We love you. Bye, guys.